Hey, 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 guess what we're painting? A jar of peanut butter again. But I'll tell you what we're doing. <laughs> this will be the last time, I promise. I just got to thinking about how much would we actually have to, how loose could we be and with as little information as possible and explain that it's a jar of peanut butter. That makes sense? So that's my goal. I've got a loose piece of canvas up here because I'm not wasting a canvas on this. So we're going to play around and see again how little information we can put up there and yet explain that it's a jar of peanut butter. Obviously the word GIF would have a long way, you know, in explaining what it is. Um, but we're going to wait on that. Okay? All right, let's just have some fun. So we'll start off, and I, I'm not even going to sketch it on, okay? Um, you know, maybe a little bit. I don't exactly know what I'm doing here. So I'm looking at the painting from last night that's sitting over there. So that's what I'm using for my guide because I didn't put the peanut butter back up here tonight. Yeah. This is just this is just fun. This is just an exercise. There are a lot of people, if you look around, they paint very, very loose with not a lot of information. And when they're done, they end up making it, you know, look like the object. And a lot of that, in my opinion, comes from highlights. Let me grab a paper towel here. All right. So again, I'm just. Looking over there at that jar from last night. We've got peanut butter, we've got red that comes down there. This loose canvas kind of fights paint, so we have to struggle with that a little bit. All right, that's pretty much all of my reds. Let's switch to some peanut butter color now. And I did that by some yellow ochre, some transparent red oxide. One side of it will be a little lighter. So, I don't know. We're just having fun tonight. This won't take long, I'm quite sure. So, peanut butter. Transition a little bit darker as we go across. Okay. And I'm looking at this red here, and I, I don't think it's over far enough, so let's move it over a little bit. Okay. So that center area is blue. We're not worried about our lettering yet. It's really just a square like that and a square down here. Then there's green. Okay, that's the three colors. And then we're back to peanut butter. darker down there. Now, you know, we didn't start off and put any darks in. We didn't do a sketch, so let's 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 add a few darks. Okay, let's get our palette knife now. And we're going to throw a few highlights in. You know, when you paint glass, clear glass, it's a lot about the highlights. You know, you, uh, you a lot of times you'll do a glass vase and you're seeing the color that's behind it and through it, and the highlights are really a lot of times what explain it.
one highlight there. Now, you know, what do we want to do with the background? I'm thinking we'll do kind of that peanut butter color around it. And my thought with that is, you know, maybe we, you know, you lose some ed edges that way maybe. You know, the peanut butter definitely, so. There's a guy I've watched a few times on YouTube. I don't, I can't even think of his name. God, he's loose. He uh, uses a liner brush for a lot of things, a real ratty liner brush. Maybe you know who he is. I've seen him a few times. So we'll lose some edges there, okay? Okay, I got you a little high, don't I? Maybe. orange up that peanut butter so you do see it. And if we'd had a tone under here like I like to do, you know, we wouldn't have, you know, any of this color showing through right now. Of some dark so we can ground this. A little bit of dark under our label. You know, and you want a shadow. That would be a big deal. Okay. Now, what would really tell the tale now would be to paint the word joy on there. I mean, Jeff, so. And of course, we're picking up the color behind it. Okay. Done, I think. I'm just thinking if there's anything else, it might. Another highlight. Okay. I think. I keep tweaking it, you know how it is. I could keep playing with it. Now there's a loose, there's a loose painting of peanut butter, right? It, oh my gosh, it's eight minutes, nine minutes. How's that? All right, I will quit painting peanut butter now. I just got to thinking just how quick could we get it on here and how loose and still yet make it feel like a jar of peanut butter? How'd we do? Let me know. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, nine minutes and 18 seconds. Okay, like and subscribe. I'll do something different next time. I promise I won't paint peanut butter again. But, you know, I'm not saying it's perfect, but then it's not supposed to be. You know, see how loose this is and get you in front of it a little more. I don't know. It was fun. Okay. Catch you next time. Have a nice night.